We got music and everything. What's going on up here? There's a religious cult handing out your Watchtower and Track Society garbage. You also take all that stuff and put it in the garbage can. Yeah, it's Linda. Well, we went, went out last night. Y'all need to get out of that Watchtower cult. They're just making slaves out of you people. Throw that stuff in the garbage and repent toward God in grief and sorrow for being idolaters. Yeah. Well, they're, they're told not to say anything because they, they don't know anything. Oh my gosh, they're infesting the place. Okay, so we'll get set up here. All right, everybody, we're out here on the town square today. There's the uh, farmer's market, of course, and there's a foot race going on, and the place is just infested with Jehovah's Witnesses. I guess they're taking advantage of the increased uh, uh, traffic out here with uh, whatever kind of a race that's going on. So uh, we'll go ahead and set up here, and uh, we'll see how things go today. So hopefully these ladies will play it cool and not give us the, uh, try and tell us what to do. <clears throat> Is the race going to be going on for a while longer? Uh, it ends about 10. Okay. the wind, right? <laughs> so we're out here today to preach the Bible, to preach the word of the Lord. See, the followers of Jesus Christ have been commanded by their Lord Jesus Christ to go into all the world and preach the gospel unto every creature. So, and today is a good day for that. Praise God. Praise God. Today we have presumably good nutritious food for your body out here in the square or organic locally grown good things for your body and we've come out here to bring you good things for your soul because that's what you need the word of god the wisdom of god that's what's good for your soul now as in as in all places you have a choice between good and bad between between wholesome and poisonous you know, we, we, got, we got organic food here on the square, which is good, but you could also go to McDonald's and eat garbage. You, you, could, you could listen to the preaching of the King James Bible right here, or you could get the garbage offered by the Watchtower Society over there. We want you to have wholesome things for your soul, but, but it's your choice. You, you can pick up the easy things over there that'll corrupt your body and your soul, the, the things that are bad for you. But we're here to offer the blessings of God, freedom in Christ. Matter of fact, the Christian God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he, he wants you to live the blessed life. He even put it in the book of Psalms, the very first book of Psalms, praise God. Right here, the, in Psalm 1, I'm sure most people, most people that go to their church buildings, they've even heard of the, the book of Psalms. Maybe even the Jehovah's Witnesses have heard of the book of Psalms, but, but who knows, they just listen to their cult leaders mostly. 
what Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now those people that uh, walk with, in the counsel of the ungodly, well, again, that would be like your Jehovah's Witnesses that lead them into slavery. Religious slavery is what you have in your false cult, cults. So that's not the blessed life. The blessed life is to stay away from the ungodly people, not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly, but walk in the counsel of the godly. Now, the godly people who are the people that have been born again by the Spirit of God, who worship God, obey God, and proclaim His true doctrines. It's very easy to tell. There's no, there's no hidden things that uh, you have to go to some religious guru or a pastor or be, be in a religious organization. God's doctrines are available to everybody, black ink on white paper. And you don't have to pay anything for it. If you were to be a born-again, Bible-believing, Holy Ghost-filled Christian, it doesn't cost you one thin dime. Now, the fake, phony, fraudulent religions in America that we have today, they pass that plate every week, don't they? Matter of fact, some people, they think that if you don't give some pastor in a pulpit a bunch of your money, well, then you just must not be a Christian. But that's not how it works, folks. Again, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight, talking about the blessed man, the blessed, the blessed man delights in the law of the Lord. See, it, if you're not delighting in the law of the Lord, you're not living the blessed life. How many people out here delight in the law of the Lord? That's the blessed life. That's what you need to be about. And his law, talking about the blessed man again, Markers are going and, to hell as well. and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Do you meditate on the law of the Lord day and, day and night? That would be a blessing for you. That's how the Christian God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, intends for you to live the blessed life, meditating on his law day and night. If you're not meditating on God's law day and night, you're missing out on some blessings. Like Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If your heart was full of Bible, guess what would come out of your mouth? Guess what would be filling, filling your mind? God's words, God's law, His doctrine, His statutes and precepts. That would be a blessing for your life, God's law. And again, the blessed man, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth the fruit in his season. And his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The godly man that meditates on God's laws day and night, he shall prosper. That's where prosperity comes from. Not from the things of this world. Oh, you may get some fake, phony, fraudulent fiat currency. You may get a bunch of money. You may find a bunch of people that tell you you're swell. But, that, but that's, not the bless, that's not the true blessings of God. Jesus is going to burn sinners in hell forever. Jesus is going to cast out the wicked into the everlasting lake of fire and brimstone. Those, those people that worship Pink Floyd and their, and their satanic psychedelic music will lie to you. Don't listen to liars. Those that have born again through, been born again through faith and repentance, they are part of the body of Christ. And nobody likes a loudmouth, rebellious woman. That's one of the big problems in America today. Loudmouth, rebellious woman. Where is that woman's husband anyway? Why isn't that woman's husband keeping her in line? He's certainly not doing his job. But going on with the blessed life and having a woman like that it definitely isn't part of the blessed life, that's for sure. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. The ungodly, they're not going to last, and that's good news today. The ungodly are going to be blown away like the chaff one day from this earth. That's good news, isn't it? I mean, everybody's seen some of the ungodly people of this world. 
You got your religious cultists, you got your gang bangers, you got your corrupt politicians, you got your drug addicts, you have your whores and your whoremongers, you got all kind of wicked people in this world, and one day, they're all going to be blown from this earth. That, and that should be good news to you. But the ungodly, they're, they're not going to like to hear that. The cigarette-sucking sinners, they're not going to like to hear that Jesus Christ is going to blow away all sinners from this world because that's going to be them. They're, they're going to feel a twinge of their shame. They're going to realize their guilt when Jesus comes to destroy this world. Matter of fact, because God has written His law on all of man's heart, you understand that today. Even if you do try to ignore it. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. See, when Jesus comes back, all the religious cultists, like the Jehovah's Witnesses over here, hawking their Watchtower Society garbage, they're going to stand before Jesus Christ, and they're going to try and complain their good works. They're going to try and proclaim their good works. They're going to say, Lord, Lord, didn't we stand on the street corner in the, in the square and hand out our, our religious slavery material over there? And Jesus is going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And all those JWs with their smiling faces and their pretty dresses are going to burn in the everlasting lake of fire and brimstone for all of eternity. Unless, unless, because there's hope for everybody, if they were to go to God in grief and sorrow for being idolaters, you need to listen to this, sir. No, I don't think so, buddy. Well, that's okay. Jesus will burn you alive if that's what you want. It's your choice. You can be just like those JWs and not listen to the doctrines of Jesus Christ. Oh, get out of here with your middle finger, you hateful person. Yeah, we're not blaming homosexuals, sir. We don't want AIDS. We don't need your hate out here in the town square of Murfreesboro. God didn't give you your middle finger to be wicked with it. And there's children around. Someone your age should figure that out by now. You don't do that in front of women and children. No, but he doesn't want to hear what's right. You godless pervert. What a shame. Hope you don't have kids or grandchildren. What a shame. When presented with the soul-saving gospel, the doctrines of Christ, people, they just get mad, they get disgusting, they close their ears, and they just walk on. Our wives would not appreciate that, sir. But what can you do? You try and help people. I mean, have you ever tried to help somebody who's smoking cigarettes and you tell them it's going to kill them and they say, yeah, I don't care, or I know, and they just keep destroying their life? Tragic. But you just try and help people the best you can. Hopefully you'll find somebody that's not a complete fool will listen to good reason to the doctrines of Christ. That's what we're hoping for today. Our main goal is just to glorify Jesus Christ by preaching his word out here like he told, like he tells Christians to do. Somebody who's actually a Christian will obey Jesus Christ when he says to go into all the world and preach the gospel into every creature. But we would also like that it would be great if there was somebody who was actually humble toward God in grief and sorrow and put their faith in Jesus Christ unto salvation and not just be a churchgoer wasting their time, building their pride, thinking they're good enough for heaven when in fact they're bad enough for hell. That's most people in America today. Most people that call themselves Christians, but they're just false converts. They're people that have been duped by the devil's ways, thinking that if you go to a church building, you're going to heaven. You got a verse for that? You got a verse for go to church and you get to go to heaven? No, that's, that's a scam. That's a scam that the devil offers people to maybe assuage a little bit of the shame that they feel for their sin. Going to the church building is not going to help you at all. You must be born again through faith and repentance. Because there's going to be a congregation of the righteous one day, praise God. The sinners are going to be cast out into everlasting lake of darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, and there will be the congregation of the righteous. Now, we want everybody to be in, in the congregation of the righteous. Everybody within the sound of our voice this morning, we want everybody to be in the congregation of the righteous. But we've already seen some people, they stick up their middle fingers when you, you tell them how they can be in the congregation of the righteous. They just expose that hatred in their heart, the vileness, their hatred of Jesus Christ, and they're not going to be in the congregation of the righteous. There's, there, there's room for everybody. There's not one person that couldn't be saved. It's just the vast majority of people, they hate God. They don't want to be in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. You know why God knows the way of the righteous? 
Because we're just following Him. He made that way. He, he laid that out like a map in His Word and we just follow His ways. Of course He knows the ways of the righteous. But the ungodly ways, they're all going to perish. The ways of the religious cults in America like we have over here. The ways of the drunkard and the drug addict, their ways are going to perish. The ways of the whore and the whoremonger, their ways are going to perish. The ways of the idolaters, the ways of the corrupt politician. All the ways of the ungodly people are going to perish. You need to get ready. We don't want you to perish in your sin. Because 100% of mankind dies. I mean, I don't mean to be Captain Obvious out here this morning, but no matter how healthy you are, no matter what you may do, your life is going to end and you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. And you should be ready. If you, if you had wisdom, you would get ready. And there's only one way to get ready, to be prepared for what happens right after your last heartbeat. And that's to humble your heart toward God in grief and sorrow and put your faith in Jesus Christ. And when I say Jesus Christ, I'm talking about the Jesus Christ of the Bible. I'm talking about the Creator of heaven and earth. I'm talking about God Himself who came in the flesh of a man that died on that rugged Roman cross about 2,000 years ago, shedding out all of His holy and precious blood that there might be an atonement for your soul. But if you don't put your faith in that, if you don't put your faith in Him unto salvation, then there's no hope for you. You're going to die in your sin and you're going to get paid. The Word of God says that the wages of sin is death. You are earning death through your sin. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, you can't earn heaven, but you could get the gift. If you were to go to God in grief and sorrow for your sin and have faith in Jesus Christ, you could have the gift of eternal life. Praise God. Sit in the ground.